to calculate the um, sum of a square uh, from the estimates the simple relationship you can see this 36 if you remember the estimate for a was uh, 6 so the effect of temperature variable was 6 if we change from low level of a to high level of a the average comfort increases uh, 6 by 6 humidity the effect of that was 3 so if we increase the humidity level from low to high the average comfort increases by 3 if we square that that is 9 so the estimate um, a square of that is basically the sum of a square now we can also see the interaction that way we won't be able to see uh, let me create calculate the interaction uh, estimate uh, because we don't have any replication we won't be able to see any result uh, in terms of fee values but we'll be able to see the estimate let's run this now if you look at here, this is the interaction, temperature times humidity. If you remember, the uh, effect of that interaction was 1. So 1 is square is 1. And then the, uh, the degrees of freedom for temperature, there are two levels of temperature, 0 degree and 75, Fahrenheit, uh, 75 degree Fahrenheit. So the degrees of freedom will be 1. Humidity was two levels. So the degrees of freedom is basically 2 minus 1, which is 1. And then the interaction is basically temperature times humidity, which is 1 times 1 is 1. Now, so this is the mean of mean square, which is uh, sum of a square divided by the uh, degrees of freedom produces the mean square. Now mean square is also related the higher the mean square the way the AFA statistics is calculated is basically this mean square by error. In this case we don't have experimental error because we don't have any any kind of um, uh, replication. However if you look at this uh, the other one where we didn't include the interaction then interaction is used as an error so this error you see is basically interaction so you don't include the interaction in the model whatever you don't include in the model that goes into the error so in this case we can calculate the p-value so the way it is calculated the mean square of the model which is the effect of the both temperature and humidity divided by the the mean error here in this case as you can see the temperature effect mean square was 36 the average variation and then um, divide by the error which is 1 then it's 36 same for humidity divide by the mean square of error which is 1 here um, which is 9 9 by 1 is 9 so this is the f value and this uh, simply the uh, probability from a f distribution um, so what you can see here is the higher the value of the um, effect and then the, there is a higher chance of um, becoming that uh, significant. As you can see the p value here is 0.1 because of 36 um, f value and here 0.2 because of 9. So the higher the mean square, the higher the uh, estimate of some factor there is a higher chance of getting that variable to be significant so we can actually calculate this ANOVA table analysis of variance table from the um, estimate simply by squaring the, the effect calculated effect